how's it going YouTube? This is Jim and I Jets 1272 here, coming back with you guys with another model airport update. Um for a wonderful on scale, Jim and I Jets, obviously. Um anyway guys, um today I have a Newark Liberty Airport update for you guys, and this was requested by Nick Glynos and Flight Nerd. Um so shout out to those two guys. Um both of their channels will be in this in the description. Please go and check them out and yeah. Um also guys I have another um Shout out to make. It's to one of my friends from back here at home. Um, yeah, so he does, well, he has a YouTube channel and an Instagram. And, um, yeah, and he wanted a shout out, so I'll put his, both his Instagram and his YouTube in the description below. Um, and his name's Mitchell, so it's going to say Mitchell's channel, and then it'll have like a slash going to his link. So, yeah, um, please go and show support to him, guys. And, yeah. <clears throat> Um, there actually are no new models in this airport update, but actually I do, I have added a new feature, so you guys will see that very soon. <clears throat> yeah, so let's get right started. So here first off we have an Air China 747-400, um, getting bags on board for Beijing. Next up we have a Swiss A330-200, which will be going out to Zurich. Then we have a Lufthansa. A340-300, that'll be going out to Dusseldorf, he's taxing to runway 48 for departure. Um, next we have on final approach is a FedEx MT1030 coming in from Miami, um, not from Paris, sorry, not Miami. And then starting off with the American side of Terminal B, we have an American Airlines, sorry guys, let me just fix this real quick. We have a American 767-300, and he's going to be going down to Miami today. Next up, um, just about to push back, is a American Airlines Airbus A319, and he'll be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. Next up is a American Airlines 737-800 and the TWA Retro Library. He's getting fueled up for a flight to Charlotte Douglas International Airport. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the American Airlines Brayer ERJ-190, and this E-190 will be heading out to uh, Dallas-Fort Worth. Um, next up is the uh, JetBlue A320. Sorry, I was looking at my route sheet. Um, this A320 in the Boston Red Sox will be heading out to um, uh, nope, sorry, I just totally spaced out there. Okay, and uh, he'll be heading out to Orlando. And then, beside him, we have a JetBlue A321 in the Prism Scale, getting fuel for a flight down to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Then, um, behind him, is this Alaskan Airlines, or uh, Alaska, sorry, not Alaskan, but this Alaska 737-800 in the new library with split skin guitar winglets, um, this 737-800 is going to be making his way over to Seattle Tacoma International Airport. Okay, now we have the JetBlue Airways Airbus E320 in the Vets and Blue Library. Um, he's taxing to runway 48 for a departure to Orlando International Airport. Also taxing, actually. Taxing to the Delta side of Terminal B is a Delta Airlines MV90 who just arrived in from Detroit, um, Michigan. Another aircraft that has just arrived is a Southwest Airlines 737-700 um, in the old um, old library um, in in the Las Vegas Nevada Nevada Las Vegas Battleborn. Um, Library and this one just came in from let me find it um, Denver, Colorado. Another arrival is a Delta Airlines CRJ 700. Um, this Delta CRJ 7 just came in from Minneapolis, St. Paul, and taxing for a departure is an is an American Airlines 737-800 in um, the current library. And this 737-800 will be taxing, or will be going out to, um, Phoenix Sky Harbor. 
Now we will go to the other side of terminal B, which houses delta and southwest. We just have to walk over here. As normal, please ignore the cord. It's kind of hard to go around it. Um, anyway, starting off with a delta heavy is the a Delta Airlines Airbus A330-200, getting catered for Amsterdam Schiphol. Just push back and we'll be taxing to runway 48 for departure is a Delta Airlines Airbus A321 who will be going out to Atlanta. Beside him is a Delta Airlines 737-800, yeah, 800, which will be going out to Minneapolis, St. Paul. And then the other Delta Heavy is um, a Delta Airlines 767-300 ER, which is getting luggage on board for um, Paris Charles de Gaulle. And starting off with the southwest side, which is the only two gates for southwest because they only have four planes in total. But anyway, this southwest 737-700 in the old colors in the um, New Mexico livery. Actually, this in the old, old colors. Um, but anyway, this 737 um, just came in from a flight from St. Louis. Beside him, using the air stairs, is a Southwest Airlines 737-300 in the just um, past livery um, in the Arizona colors. And this 733 will be heading out to Midway. As you can see, they're boarding passengers at, at the moment. And second in line for departure is a Southwest 737-800 in the new colors with split schema targetlets. Um, this 738 um, is second in line for a flight to Austin, Texas. And actually, no, third in line, sorry. Um, then this Delta 737-900 is second in line for a departure to Salt Lake City. Uh, and that's in the CE Woman um, Library. And just about ready to throttle up is a Delta Airlines Embraer ERJ-170. This, um, well, obviously, Delta Connection, but anyway, this guy will be heading out to Philadelphia. And now, we will be going over to Terminal A, which has it at United, obviously, but we'll be starting out with the cargo. So, um, here is the new addition to my airport. I made these air stairs out of just Legos and, like, the, um, air, the stairs from the jetways. Um, but, uh, if you guys do want me to show you a tutorial about how to make these they're very simple and cost very little um then just comment down below just say something like i would like to see a video about how to make the air stairs or something um but i will make sure to get that out to you guys if you do want to see it they're quite simple very cheap um and they actually don't look too bad if you get them in the right colors but anyway um right here we have a ups 767-300f and this guy will be going out to Anchorage, Alaska, and as you can see, he's getting the crew on board with the new air stairs. And, and guys, also, with those air stairs, you can make them in um, for different types of planes. Like, if you can make them for, like, wide bodies, narrow bodies, or, like, um, regional jets. In fact, I'll show you um, a rear... Blah, I can't talk today. A regional jet one that I made... Um, here soon. But anyway, here's an American Eagle ERJ-170. We'll be pushing back in about very few, probably two minutes or so after that United 320 leaves. Let me focus on, on it right there. So yeah. Um, anyway, this ERJ-170 will be making flight to uh, uh, Philadelphia. Oh, my bad, guys. This E-170 will be going out to Raleigh. Um, Durham in North Carolina. So, sorry about that, guys. I just got mixed up because they're both E-170s. But now we will take a look at the regional jet air stairs. Um, and here is what they look like. I mean, they don't look great, but I think they look better than just not having anything there. So that's what they are. Um, once again, they fit up to the plane and they're quite easy to make. So, um, anyway, here we have a Delta Connection CRJ-200. It's getting pastures on board. And this here, D200, will be going out to Detroit. And then taxing to the runway, obviously. Runway 48 is a United Airlines Airbus C320 in the Star Alliance livery. 
Um, this guy will be heading out to Montego Bay. So now we will make our way over um, to the United um, to Terminal A or the United Terminal here at Newark. Um, here we have a United Airlines 757-300, and this 753 is getting bags on board for Lima. And next um, is a United Express ERJ-145. This guy um, is just pushing back for a flight over to Omaha, Nebraska, <clears throat> or my home airport. And then over here we have a United Airlines Airbus A319. Um, this A319 will be going out to Charleston, South Carolina. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, we're going to move over to the other side. Of terminal A. Jump throw that over there. Um, starting off with a United Airlines 737-800 with split skin guitar winglets. Um, this guy will be going out to West Palm Beach, Florida. And I'll move over here to, to do the last two planes. Once again, my apologies for the cord. It's just there. I can't really do anything about it. Um, here we have a United Airlines Airbus A320 in the Star Alliance library. This guy. We'll be pushing back very, very shortly after the tug finishes with the E-145, but this guy will be um, pushing back for a flight to um, New Orleans. And last for the United Aircraft is this United Airlines 767-300ER getting catered for a flight to Lisbon. <clears throat> and last but not last, last, last. I can't talk today for some reason. Last but not least is the Vilaris Airlines Airbus A321, um, which is using actually the narrow body air stairs. Um, and I mean, that one doesn't look as good because there's a big old hole at the bottom, but pretty sure that I can probably fix that if needed. Um, but anyway, this Vilaris A321 is, op is being operated by Vacation Express going out to Cancun, Mexico. So guys, that is it for my new work airport updates. Um, thanks you guys. Thanks, thanks you guys. That didn't make any sense. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as normal, if we can get to 200 subscribers by Christmas, um, I will be giving away a model. And all you have to do to be entered in that contest is just subscribe, and you are automatically in the contest. Um, yeah. Um, follow me on Instagram at Gemini Jets 1272, and um, please go and check out check out. All the channels below and one Instagram account. And yeah, guys, um, stay tuned for my next video, which will be a Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport update. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.